gonna be a clock left. So I did the shingling method for the first time ever and as you can see the results came out awesome like my curls are super defined but I will never ever ever in my life do this method again it takes way too long it took me like an hour just to put the product on my hair like what I don't have time for that but I did record it so I do want to show you guys what I did so let's just jump right into it what I used to wash my hair was the Apogee Keratin and Green Tea Shampoo. I used to use the Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer a lot when I first started wearing my hair curly and I really liked it so I had high hopes for this shampoo. I felt like my hair was really stripped from using this shampoo. After I washed my hair the first time, my scalp was still itchy and like I still felt like it was dirty and had product buildup or whatever. So I was just a little disappointed in this shampoo. Then I skipped conditioner and I jumped directly into my deep conditioner and I used the Apogee Curlific Texture Treatment Deep Conditioner. One, it's super, super thick, which I absolutely love. And when I first put it on my hair, oh, it made my hair so soft. My hair had so much slip. I was thinking in my head, this, this deep conditioner is definitely top three right now. But by the time I completely rinsed it out, I feel like my hair wasn't as soft as I was expecting it to be. So out of the products that I tried, those two things were definitely my least favorite. Now to actually style my hair, this is where it gets good. So first I sprayed my hair with water just to get it soaking wet because I feel like that's how I get the most definition. Then I went in with the Prolific Moisture Rich Leave-In Conditioner. First of all, it's super thick. Like when you spray it out, it's liquid obviously. But as I was working it through my hair, I had like chunks of white liquid falling out. So that's how I knew that this was like good stuff. It made my hair soft and gave my hair lots of slip. It was freaking amazing and this is definitely something I will repurchase. After that I went in with the Curlific Curl Definer and I was expecting this to be like a gel inside of this thing. No baby, it's a white cream. It's super thick. You only need a little bit and when it says curl definer, they are not lying. Look at my hair. Do you see this? My hair has never looked like this before. With this method, you literally have to take the smallest sections of hair, especially me that I have like a lot of hair on my head. I have to take really small sections and then on top of that, I'm separating tiny pieces and just running my finger along the length of my hair to make sure that it's all smoothed out and that when it pops back up, the curl will be defined like how it is now. And the results are obviously amazing but I just don't have time for that. After I finished doing my entire head, I let it air dry, put my hair in the pineapple to go to sleep like I do every other time. And now it's the next day, you guys can see me taking down my hair. As you can see, it's still super defined, super shiny and moisturized. The Curlific Moisturist Leave-In and the Curl Definer, obviously together they are super moisturizing overall these two products are definitely things i will be repurchasing the shampoo was a no for me but that's just how it worked on my hair somebody else out there probably loves it and if you do love it let us know in the comments below and let us know what hair type you have so that people who may have similar hair to yours can try out the shampoo and see how they like it i hope it was super helpful to anybody who has been wanting to try the curlific line and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video